have the experience. As you can see, Tinubu is set to shake the 2023 presidential election campaign as he will be vying for president under the ages of the APC for the 2023 presidential elections. Let's talk about it. Obi King to ease no eye, coming out with the music to ease your mind. Hi guys, it's Obi King once again in the house with another video for you guys. So the APC presidential primaries happened. There was the obligatory fight at the scene, first of all. It had something to do with Delta State APC and Imo State APC. Somehow, Rochas was involved in the brawl. I expected it to happen anyway, in some way or form. It's kind of normal in events like this. That wasn't the first L Rochas took that night. <laughs> They all had their speeches, they all spoke to the delegates, a lot of step downs were witnessed, especially for Tinubu, a lot of people stepped down for Tinubu. Buhari had a stone face all through the thing with occasional... He laughed when Rochas was giving his speech, yet under L for Rochas, man that's too bad. Professor Yemi Osibanjo's speech was definitely a highlight. From what I read, a lot of people were impressed with the speech. I listened to the speech, it was kind of meh. I saw a lot of replies, responses on social media, they were like, wow, Yemi Osibanjo said all these things off the top of his head, he's so amazing. Yeah, I looked at that video and... I am a Nigerian, I was born here. My parents were born here. What's that over there? Yeah. That's a teleprompter. He used a teleprompter. So he was reading the words of the screen. I mean, why do you think his eye was focused on that side so long? Dude was getting his points down. I think he was kind of disingenuous with a whole lot of things that he was saying. But there is one part of the speech that annoyed me in particular. This guy actually took credit for Nigerians developing tech companies. We have revolutionized agriculture since 2015. Young Nigerians have established six unicorns, technology companies, each worth over a billion dollars. Everything, everything, everything we can imagine or dream is within our reach. I was witness to when Nigeria was closing down a whole lot of fintech companies. I mean, Rice Vest, I was using Trove at the time. A lot of them were constricted in this administration. You now want to take advantage of the innovations that they did and you are now saying that oh you are responsible for those innovations. Man, I was like nope. Anyway, all of that didn't matter because as we all know, Jagaban came in with over 1,000 votes. 1,271 votes to be exact. His closest rivals didn't even come close. Dude has just too much influence. There was another interesting thing I observed like during the primaries, Peter Obi let out a fire tweet that had a whole lot of engagement. He said Dear Nigerian youths, as you listen to the aspirants of the ruling party jostle for their party's ticket, think and ask if they can offer tomorrow what they could not provide in seven years, and if you are doing better than you were seven years ago. And he put the PO for you to know that he's actually the one typing this. And man, this tweet enraged a whole lot of people. It triggered people. First of all, thing has 99,000 likes as a time of reading. Like, dude, Peter Obi owns the social media space at this point. Like, youths are at his back. That's really like a referendum of integrity, I feel. So many youths are engaged in the political space. And that's a very good thing. I mean, on WhatsApp, where usually I'm one of the only few people posting out political messages and all that i realized on that day that a whole lot of people were engaged with this presidential primaries and i was shocked i was pleasantly shocked i was happy because at least everybody was seeing the process that is leading into bringing these people into power and you can see how flawed the process is you can see how the process can be easily influenced by a whole lot of money anyways well my take on the primaries uh i'll give it a 4 out of 10. Another thing, I think a whole lot of youthful musicians, they didn't agree to come and perform because they know probably it's career suicide. Out of all the voting blocks, the youths are the angriest right now and I feel that in 2023, whoever they decide is going to enter that seat, that's who is entering that seat, whether not by fire or by force. What do you guys think? Share your comments, like, subscribe. As always, my name is Obi King. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.